Today, I'm going to show you how to add and remove haze from a photo. Welcome to fun. La 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 la. <laughs> Welcome to fun. La 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 la. It's our new intro. Hope you like it. <laughs> it's really good. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me all over the internet, uh, also at flurn.com, where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And this episode is really, really cool because we're gonna show you how to add and remove a haze from a photo in Photoshop and Lightroom. Now with Lightroom, we're gonna be jumping into a brand new feature called Dehaze. I'm gonna show you how to use it and a couple of quick tips. And then we're gonna jump into Photoshop where I'm gonna show you a simple and effective way for actually adding haze or fog to your photos. It's gonna be quick and fun. Stick with me if you want to, <laughs> or not. I'm okay with either one. All right, so we're gonna start off with removing haze from a photo. And for that, we're gonna be jumping into Lightroom. So here's a photo my good friend Brendan Shanley took of an engagement couple. And this is the sort of image you'll get all the time. Like if sun is kind of coming into your, into your camera or like if it's really foggy or cloudy outside, you're just gonna get a lot of this like haze. This is exactly what it's called, where you don't see a lot of the detail that's in your photos. So the best way to remove that is make sure you're using, by the way, Lightroom, we'll go to about Lightroom CC. Make sure you're using uh, Lightroom CC and this is the 2015 release. So if you don't have the dehaze, make sure you update your copy of Lightroom. So let's go to develop here and that's where we're gonna find our dehaze. So we're gonna click develop and then I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom. And here under effects, we're gonna see this dehaze slider. Now this is again, it's new to the Lightroom CC 2015. So if you don't have it, just update your Lightroom. Now, this is like really as simple as you can get. You just click on your dehaze and drag it to the right and it will take the haze away. You can drag it to your left and it'll actually add haze to your image, which I don't know why you'd wanna do that, but maybe you do. All right, so we're gonna click this and drag this to the right and there we go, right about here, it completely removes the haze from the image. Now, in my experience, it tends to like oversaturate just a little bit too much. So I like to get this, you know, right to a point where I think is pretty good. And then we're just gonna go up to here and I'm gonna try pulling down our vibrance. You know what, let's try pulling down our saturation just a little bit. There we go. Pulling down our saturation I think helps out a lot. And really that's all there is to it. So here's our before, which is like insane that it would like took me almost no time at all to do that. You know what, I think I'm gonna warm this image up a little bit. Let's bring our temperature. Oh, that needed that. See how like cool? There we go. We're just gonna go up to the temperature and warm that up. And there we go. So that took, oh gosh, no, don't do that. Um, <laughs> that took almost no time to do, which is awesome. So we've gone from this to that in really almost no time. And that's all there is to it, guys. So if you have image that has a bunch of this haze, now you know Lightroom is awesome at tackling that haze. Now let's say you have a photo that you wanna add some haze or fog to. Well, you can take that dehaze slider and you can just drag it all the way to the left and that's gonna add some haze. But I've got a better way. This isn't Photoshop. So let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop. And now we've got an image of a, a beautiful Sunday morning in a wood line path. Um, I don't know, I got this from photolia.com. It's a stock image website. I didn't take this image, but it's the perfect image to add some fog to because we already have some like hazy things kind of going on in this image. So here's the trick. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna create a new layer on top of my background. Then I'm gonna go to filter and then down here to render and then we're gonna go to difference clouds. So filter, render and difference clouds. There we go. Oh, selected area is empty. If you ever see something like that, just hit okay. And now I'm gonna fill this layer with gray. So I'm gonna hit shift delete. There we go. And that's gonna bring up my fill dialog. We're gonna fill with 50% gray. Okay, and now we're gonna go to filter down to render and to difference clouds. There we go. And here we have our difference clouds. Now, you might look at that and say, great, that's totally useless. What do we do with this? Um, well, if you remember your blending modes, blending modes are very powerful because they can either make a certain part of the layer visible or invisible based on what's on the layer. Now, in this case, I want all my blacks to go away. I don't want the black here, but those like gray areas of clouds, I want them to stay in the photo. So if I want my blacks to go away, I wanna use this screen blending mode. Screen is gonna make blacks go away. Okay, so I'm gonna change my blending mode from normal down to screen. 
And there we go. We just have the lighter areas of our difference clouds. Now, this is just the beginning, guys. This is, uh, the reason I love this is because you have a lot of possibility of what to do here. So I'm gonna hold Control or Command and hit T. That's gonna transform this. Now, here we have on the top of our, on the top of our transform dialog, I have a slider that says W, that's for width, and one that says H, that's for height. Now, my suggestion is to take this W slider and go ahead and stretch it out. Stretch it out, and that's gonna stretch out your width there. And that's gonna make it look a little bit more like it's fog, right? See how like being stretched out kind of makes it look like it's, you know, like low-lying fog? So we're just gonna stretch this out to the point that it looks good, and we're gonna hit enter. That's, that's really all you need to do. Now, if you wanna make your fog either larger or smaller, just click on this chain link between the width and the height, and that's going to scale them both at the same time. And you can see here, I'm able to get fog that's a little bit larger. If I go to the right, that might look a little bit more appropriate. Or if I go to the left, I'm gonna now be able to create smaller fog. So the fog that you add to your photo, it's gonna be different for every single photo. So that's why this difference clouds is so great because you can change the size of your fog, you can change where it is, and in a second we're gonna use a layer mask. So let's go ahead and take this, and I'm gonna just bring that up. I thought it looked good with some larger haze there, larger fog. All right, so there we go. Let's hit that checkbox, and that's really all there is to it. So now we've got this over top of our image. Now, I like to define where this fog is gonna be visible. We don't need it visible on the whole image. So we're gonna create a layer mask and make this basically invisible for most of the image. Now I'm gonna hold Alt or Option and click on my layer mask button. That's gonna make our entire layer invisible, making a black layer mask. Now we're just gonna grab our brush tool and I'm gonna paint with white over the area that I actually want the fog or the haze to be added. There we go. So having it around this area, and I can choose a lot large brush with like a soft edge. There we go. And I can make something that's just kind of kind of like come in and be relatively subtle, but still add quite a bit to the image. Now, if you want to just get more effect, what I suggest doing is hitting Controller Command J and duplicating that layer. And then you can kind of move it around and say like, oh, look, now we have twice the fog. Um, really couldn't be easier there. And then I'm just gonna use a layer mask to paint that away. All right, let's go ahead and group those and take a look at what this looks like with the before and the after. Here's our image pre-fog, and here is our after. All right, guys, that's all there is to adding fog and removing fog in Lightroom and Photoshop. Just remember these key tips when you're gonna be doing this on your own. For removing haze, Lightroom is the best option. Make sure you're upgraded to the latest version of Lightroom CC 2015. In the develop module, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the right-hand panel. There you're gonna see a dehaze slider. Going to the left is gonna add haze, going to the right is gonna take away haze. And it's my personal suggestion to reduce saturation, it's gonna make it look more realistic. Now if you wanna add fog to an image, I suggest using Photoshop. Just create a new layer and fill it with 50% gray. Then go to Filter, Render, and then down to Difference Clouds. Be sure to set your layer blend mode to screen. That's gonna make the darks invisible and just have the clouds show up. Then it's up to you to transform these clouds to make them fit perfectly in your image. And if you want more clouds, just duplicate your layer. All right guys, thank you so much for watching Flurn. I hope you enjoyed this episode. May all your cloud and fog dreams come true. Um, <laughs> if you liked learning Photoshop and you wanna hang out with me more on the internet, you can do it. Just click on your screen right now and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We release free Photoshop and photography episodes every single week. We've got hundreds of them. And if you wanna check out more tutorials, be sure to go to flurn.com. We have great free episodes as well as a selection of the best Photoshop tutorials available online. And if you have a question or a comment about today's episode, just leave it right down below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone. All right, guys, that's all there is to taking away how... All right, guys, and that's how we do it. Taking away and adding fog. Now, that's, that's all there is to it. All right, guys, and that's all there is to it. Now, all right, guys, all right, guys, that's all there is to it. Now, may your fog, hopes, and dreams be fulfilled. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, I do that. Be sure to set your... Be sure to set your layer blend mode. Be sure to set your layer blend mode to screen and then transform. Be sure to set your layer blend mode. Be sure to set your layer blend mode to screen. That's gonna make the darks invisible. All right. Peace out. Peace out. That's how you know you're cool. When you. Peace out. That's what people tell me.